Secondary school students have gathered in Bendigo and Melbourne to compete for a place in the Science and Engineering Challenge, which aims to address a national decline in the number of secondary school students choosing to undertake senior level maths, science and engineering related subjects. La Trobe University hosted both heats to help inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers. This particular program should assist the students in seeing where science and engineering might lead them, to, to look at the type of problems they might get from or they might have to address in that sort of career and to really understand that science is more than what they might have met to date in a classroom setting. The challenge attracted several community sponsors including the Bendigo South Rotary Club. It's important to foster young people's passion particularly in relation to the sciences and engineering. First, first of all it's a great subject, secondly there's a shortage of science and engineering knowledge in the country and thirdly the country needs, the country needs um, science and engineering to help it advance and develop for the future. The challenge drew on students competitive edge. Each school provided seven teams of up to four students to work on different activities in competition with other schools. Anna King, Jacob Koska, Mitch Legg and Corinne Kinsman were members of Bendigo South East Secondary College's bridge building team. They were challenged to design the lightest bridge that could carry the heaviest load. <laughs> You guys had fun today, everybody? Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic, really exciting. Lots of, um, it's very tense when we're standing up there. The Bendigo South East Secondary College bridge building team won the day in Bendigo to progress through to the state rounds. A strong showing there would see them through to the national final, which will be held in Adelaide in October. However, at the challenge, even the best designs were no match for the bridge buster. I kind of knew the bridge breaker was going to break it there. It was just, it was just something that was going to happen. The challenge was presented by the University of Newcastle in collaboration with La Trobe University and the Department of Industry, Innovation, Climate Change, Science, Research and Tertiary Education. To find out more, visit the La Trobe University website.